สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m e s t a n z a Today is Monday, January 31st. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. A confrontation between two local tourists and a Phuket taxi driver went viral over the weekend here in Thailand, in which the taxi driver was charging 600 baht, or about $20 USD, to go from Kamala to Patong. And now the head of the Phuket Land Transport Office is obscurely defending the fares charged by tuk-tuk and taxi drivers here on the island. The incident involved a taxi driver, Jetsara Kahapana, intimidating a Thai tourist couple. Who called him a cheat for offering to take them from Kamala to Patong for 600 baht? One of the tourists, the girlfriend, was filming the incident on her phone and posted it on social media. It went viral largely due to the fact that one of the tourists, Kevin f o l is a son of a well-known musician in Thailand. During the incident, they also called a taxi on the Grab app, who charged just 168 baht, about five dollars USD more or less. But that driver apologetically declined to pick them up, citing fear of reprisal by the taxi drivers in front of Cafe Del Mar in Kamala, where they were leaving. Ultimately, the tourist called 191 to report the incident, and after talking with Kamala police, he went down to the station to file a complaint. Now, a few days removed from that incident, the head of the Phuket Land Transport Office, j a t u r o n g k e l k a s i explained that under the current arrangement between the island's taxi cartels and provincial officials. His office is powerless to do anything. He said, quote, "For taxi fares, whether it is a taxi or van, that are in the system of the province, registered to be operating in Phuket, and with the PLTO, there are fares that have been set as standard by the Phuket governor." Mr. j a t u r o n g did not clarify that they were not set by the current Phuket governor, n a r o n g w o n c h e o The rates were set in 2013 after the Royal Thai Police, backed by the Royal Thai Army. Conducted a sweep of the island to quote tidy up the tuk-tuk and taxi industries, especially following violent attacks on tourists and the rising number of complaints, clearly exposing attempts to extort money from visiting tourists. The standard rate from Kamala to Patong, as set out in the agreements, is 400 baht. Though again, this was only an agreement between the island's taxi cartels and provincial officials. Governor Narong in July of last year. Ordered an investigation into the fares charged by taxi drivers at the Phuket International Airport after yet another tourist went public about being overcharged. That investigation went nowhere, though airport taxi operators quote agreed to charge 20% off the set fares as long as the COVID crisis continued. Days later, it was confirmed that the taxi driver has been fined 1,000 baht and instructed to attend a course on good manners for being rude to the tourists on Friday. For more, and to check out the standard rates agreed to between taxi cartels and the provincial government, visit the PhuketNews.com. After authorities declared Mai Ram Pung Beach in Rayong Province a disaster zone because of the oil spill in the Gulf of Thailand, authorities are now concerned about the leak bearing down on p r a o Bay in Koh Samet. The Navy and pollution experts are scrambling to clean up the mess created by the spill that took place in the Gulf of Thailand on Tuesday, after at least 60 tons of crude leaked from a pipeline, according to the Bangkok Post. Star Petroleum Refining Public Co. Ltd., the operator of the pipeline and whose major shareholder is U.S. giant Chevron, said it was trying to minimize the slick's ecological impact, as local outlets reported that satellite imagery. Showed the slick had already spread to an area of 51 square kilometers by Sunday. Marine scientist Tom t a m r o n g n a w a s a w a t said the oil slick was expected to continue to wash up on shore over the coming days due to stronger winds. For struggling resorts and tourism dependent businesses at that beach in Rayong Province and the surrounding area, the pollution and lack of swimmers could spell disaster. A pipeline leak in the same area in 2013 led to a major slick that coated a beach on nearby k o h s a m e t Ten ships have been sent to stop the slick from reaching the shores of k o h s a m e t now. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Officials from the National Anti-Corruption Commission, the NACC, Phuket office are investigating the clearing of three rye of mangrove forest in k o k e o With promises to take legal action if they find any wrongdoing, the investigation was launched after a whistleblower had reported the clearing of the mangroves, which are protected by Thai law. 
The preliminary field visits last week by officers confirmed that approximately three rye of land had been cleared in Coqueo. Special permission from the cabinet in Bangkok must first be given before any mangroves in Thailand may be cleared legally, even for government projects. The Phuket Mangrove Forest Resources Management Center reported that it will jointly investigate whether any legal land documents have been issued for the site. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Official festivities for the Chinese New Year got underway in Phuket Town on Friday night with the launch of the Phuket Lantern Festival in front of the iconic Standard Chartered Bank in the heart of the Old Town District. The festival will be observed from January 28th through to February 20th. And Phuket Town Mayor Saroj Ankanapilas explained that the launch, which began at 7.30 p.m. on Friday and featured large illuminated models of imaginary animals, a traditional lion dance, and fireworks. In the run-up to Chinese New Year, which begins tomorrow, February 1st, ushering in the Year of the Tiger, Phuket City Municipality launched its, quote, Sweep the House to Welcome Chinese New Year from January 20th to the 28th. Ahead of the Chinese New Year, it's customary for ethnic Chinese to prepare the New Year festivities with a clean out of their homes, leaving many large discarded items needing removal or disposal. To facilitate the custom, Phuket City each year operates special services to collect large items from homes and from the footpaths where many large items, such as discarded furniture, are left. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket recorded over 1,500 cases over the past three days, with 506 cases on Friday, 569 on Saturday, and 529 cases on Sunday, January 30th. This raises the total number of cases for January to 14,333 for a daily average of 478 cases. In addition, three more COVID deaths were recorded on Sunday as the island's death toll for January rises to 10. Since the pandemic began in Phuket, the island has recorded 34,362 cases and 156 deaths. The vast majority, 98%, have been recorded since April. Thanks so much for joining us on this Monday edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by pbcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.